Well, good morning once again and welcome once again to Ed's Orchids. Now, what I have in front of me here is two cat layers that were given to me to see if I could do anything with them. So, I'll just uh, just have a look at them and uh, take them out of the pots. I only got them last night and uh, they don't look very good. So, we'll have to take them out of the pots, see what's happening inside and then uh, try and pot them into some decent stuff. I'll tell you what they are. This one is a... I already have one. A Pink Empress Bright Sun. And this one is a... It's a double cross, this one, between Catlea Little Dipper 4N and SLC Bright Angel 4N. This looks like it's been in somebody's uh, possession since 02 or 08. Yeah, oh no, it's 05, 07, 02. Oh well, it's an old plant but it's, uh, it's only got three, three leaves on it. So we'll take this out first and have a look at this one. See what's going on. Looks like there's a little new growth on one of them, so we'll see. Might be too wet, I think. It's. Well, this has been in here a long time. Polystyrene. Oh, I don't know, a bit of mossing, which I don't like when cat, cat layers. Tends to rot them. try and clean this one up and uh, let's have a look at it when it's all cleaned up well I'm still poking away at this one after uh, five or ten minutes and it doesn't look like there's a decent root on it keep going and see what's what. I've just got a little bamboo skewer to get into uh, into the nooks and crannies here. There's two back balls here which which are hard but brown and looked but dead. No not a live root among them I don't think. So we'll be chopping away. Oh there's one. Yep. At the bottom of the new the new growth is one new root, so we'll uh, oh, there might be another one there too. So we'll chop away, take all these uh, bad roots off, and there'll probably be nothing left. But you can't carry on like this. So we'll have to be a little bit brutal with this one. been in this pot a long long time because there's algae growing on the roots, the dead roots. Everything's soft. Cut them off as close to the rhizome as you can. Nothing worse, in my opinion, than an untidy plant. I have found another live root, which is good. So you don't want to see me chopping this off all the time, do you? So, uh, so we'll turn the camera off now until I've finished. After cleaning it all up, taking off the uh, dead pseudo bulbs, three of them. Removing all the bad roots and the moss which I don't like in cat layers because uh, you always find in cat layers right in the centre when they've been grown in moss is a real mushy mess and that causes for the demise of a lot of cat layers we've got. 
But that's the only thing I've got left. Little growth there, with new root, two little roots on there. I'll leave these on, they're not, uh, they're not very good, but they'll help to anchor it down in the plant. Anchor the plant down in the medium, rather. So, uh, that's what we'll do with that one. Put it on one side and have a look at the other one. Well, here we are with the other one, which is the BLC Pink Empress. So, we'll take this out. See if this has got to... Uh, oops, that's the pot broken. The medium in this looks far too small and there again it's got moss in and there uh, all this messy stuff mind I don't mind a little bit of that at the bottom for drainage but uh, nah, not to my liking absolutely wet well it's not wet it's very very damp but look at this mess here how can you expect a plant to grow in that? Eh? How on earth can I clean that up? It's just one mass of moss and dead roots and... Oh dear me. Oh, I would never put moss in with cat layers. This is ridiculous. Absolutely St stuck up with moss and it's very old New Zealand sphagnum moss this. Oh dear. There's not going to be anything left of this when I've finished. Here we go. See, look at that lot. Eh? Would you believe it? We'll snip all these off. That's a gunner. That's a dead one. So is that. So is that. So is that. leaves that for the moment it's a bit soft up to the I think that'll be fine up to about there yep you can draw tell by looking down the the edge and it's a little bit green so we'll leave it that's a dead root that's a dead one I mean you've got no alternative but to Take them off. Because they're doing no good when they're on. And if they've got absolutely no roots left on them, then uh, it's no use watering them until they grow a few roots. Makes you wonder when they're like this how they can survive. Oh, there's a little ear wig or some bug running around there. Well, I think if we bring any of these, uh, any of these two round, it'll be a miracle. Well, I'm going to put them in these pots, 
these are the pots I use for cat layers and uh, when the cat layers uh, roots are growing very well I, uh, I chop all the uh, all holes in them to make them very big uh, you know when the cat layers reach these holes they'll try and squeeze the roots through them and uh, it sort of strangulates them and kills them but uh, these two little plants not having many roots they'll be alright in here until they start uh, growing a lot of roots and then I'll, uh, I'll take them out of these pots, put bigger holes in, a uh, bit bigger bark and, uh, and they should do quite well in that. And this is the uh, bark I'm using which is much bigger than the I took out and uh, there's a few grow stones in so we'll just pop them up there and see what we can do. Well they're both potted up now and uh, looking a bit sorry for themselves. Uh, they're all nice and firmly in the pot so they're not wagging around. I've pressed the, uh, the bark down. I've pressed it down quite hard because I wasn't, uh, wasn't uh, over concerned about damaging any roots because there's not that many on them. Uh, so that's how, that's how I've done it and uh, let's hope that uh, it proves successful. Anyhow, thank you very much for watching. Thank you to my subscribers. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would appreciate it if you did so. And until next time, when I've got a few fragmapediums to, uh, to sort out, and uh, one or two paths, I'll see you later. Bye.